Hey there folks, welcome to another tutorial of Ruby. If you guys didn't see the last episode, go check it out right now. That's where we're going to tell you how to install Ruby onto your computer. And uh, what computer systems or OS operating systems you can use it on, which are pretty much all of them. So let's get started right away. This is, today in this episode, we're going to be talking about how to make a simple program in Ruby, at least in interactive Ruby, which are, we're going to usually use. Now, I'm going to type in some text. And I'll go over it in a little bit. So I'm gonna type in seven dot times do print uh, quotation um, hello world and then end. Now, if I enter, you guys see whoa! What did I just do? Let me just explain what seven times do print hello world end means. So what seven times do world whatever it's called. Is it tells pretty much Ruby uh, print seven times hello world okay and the end tag is pretty much uh, tells you tells Ruby when we pretty much are done writing our program there so like I said it wrote, pretty much wrote hello world seven times one two three four six seven seven blah, blah, blah. you guys understand that hopefully I'll talk about this arrow in a little bit and like, not right now but in a later episode so that's what that means and let me just, before I even talk about the next thing I'm about to talk about, what IRB and all this stuff up here means. Well, IRB stands for Interactive Ruby, which is pretty simple, Interactive Ruby. And main, which I'll talk about in a little bit, not in this episode pretty much. And then 001 pretty much means the line number. You guys see this one was 001 and then this one is 002. And if I... Press enter, it's gonna go to 003, 004, and so on. But, um, let's type in some random text real quick. Alright, there we go. And, uh, if you type in something, well, before I even get to that, let me just type in print, okay? Ruby understands its own language, which we don't understand as much, and that's why I'm teaching you guys how to understand or type out the language that it understands. And then Ruby doesn't understand English, like, Hi there, sir, or D, which we wrote in right there. It doesn't really understand English, so that's why we're trying to learn how to do Ruby itself. So, um, we're typing the simplest out of simplest, even simpler than that, uh, text. So, what you just want to do is print, then quotations, and write in something, and we'll write in, um, Ruby is awesome and the exclamation points. So if it, this pretty much says print that, so if you click enter, it says Ruby is awesome. And then the arrow, like I said, I'll be talking about it a little bit. And uh nil. What nil is pretty much nothing. It doesn't really mean anything. It pretty much says that there were no errors in the coding you just did. Guys, see right there we didn't put an end, but uh I'll talk about more about that in a later episode. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I know that was kind of different, but uh, like I said, simple program. Uh, seven do times, whatever. You guys can practice that over on your Ruby. And if you guys didn't see this episode, you better go see it right now before you do all this. And if you guys didn't understand this episode, this simple episode, um, rewatch it. That's the main way you can do it. And like usual, like, favorite, and subscribe. And um, yeah, see you guys in the third episode.